What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been some time since uh, we've made a cool video, but um, obviously there's not much content with the fucking... Coronavirus! But we're focused on bringing back really good content to the channel. Um, we're gonna hint something in this video. No one will be able to pick it up, but it's gonna be pretty dope. As you can see the title, it's pretty friggin' sick. It's a friggin' Supra. Okay, granted, it's not the Mark IV, it's you know, the BMW, but hey, that's all right. Uh, because once I get here and show you this car um, and show you what's behind the ride, it's gonna be pretty sick. But of course the captions is gonna give it up. So yeah, the Supra's got a little over 500 horsepower. It's a 520 and like 630 or 620 torque. So pretty crazy. And if you look at the car, it looks pretty much all stock, but it, I guess it isn't. Um, as far as the Voltons go, I, the car is completely stock. It's just on a tune and fuel. So I'm excited to kind of ride in the car and get a feel for, you know, what this small car feels like, you know, this inline six turbo. So stay tuned. I'm on my way to Chris's house right now. up here you can see the Supra's parked up we're actually gonna go for a ride and uh, see what's up with this car man uh, see if it's underestimated or what we're gonna need a 2j or if the b58 will make it happen you guys might remember Chris he's got the black type R um, and he's got the Supra now. So we're gonna go take this for a ride. Probably one of the only 500 plus horsepower Supras in uh, Northern Cal. Yeah, I think it's the, um, uh, with the stock turbo, stock everything. Oh, it's the highest horsepower, highest torque uh, Supra out there right now. Damn. Yeah. So we're gonna see what's up. Let's see what you guys think. Um, I promised that we'd have a little hint and I've already gave it up. So if you haven't caught it by now, then you're slacking. So there's the key. If you know about BMWs, Looks really familiar, huh? Oh, damn. All right, let's do it. When did he print it out? All right, start it up. So, like, kind of first quick reaction. I'm 6'4", for some of you guys that haven't really met me. Chris is pretty tall, he's six, six feet. Six feet. Yeah. And this is pretty spacious, and I haven't even put the seat down. I, I like sitting up pretty yeah. straight, but, I mean, this is pretty spacious for the Z4, I mean, a Supra station has so it's a good thing you try to test at the local station no. all right so my first impressions of the car i haven't really got on it too much it rides really really smooth but i mean that's where like the bmw kind of comes into it um but toyota's you know back to done their own tweaks to the car too so it's not all full bmw um again i like the space in it i had an old you know i used to have a miata so um i'm used to tight spaces but this is actually really really nice i laid into it a little bit getting on the freeway and it Felt like it wanted to break traction, and this was only like 30 or 40% throttle. So I haven't really got onto it too much. You know, if I do, you guys will see it here on camera, but um, a little bit too many cars to like roll into it. But yeah, the car is definitely super dope. I don't know, maybe, maybe you get a super next. And it. Oh. All right, we're gonna do a quick uh, little fifth gear pull here. It's crazy, fifth gear. It's a different all wheel drive squad. It's like an all wheel drive squad. This feels like the car is like coming off the ground in the front. Like it's, 
Damn! This is so sick! I'm about to go, I'm about to go see my boy at an SF Toyota. Trade the 4Runner in. Put the kid in the trunk. <laughs> right? Fuck the back seat. Damn, that Camaro's a bitch. Oh, you gas it after. Don't do that, guys. Don't do that shit. You start revving at someone, they let them next to you, you look them dead in the eye. Even if it's to take an L. But we ain't taking L's. like 70 80 it's crazy dude the power is hell in here the more you get into it the more it wants to move it's crazy i want this camera to run it before we get off the fucking freeway in the next exit It is at all stock too. That sounds the same stock. Damn, girl. That was fucking light. Why not? Fuck it. Why not? What's he gonna say? It's all stock. It does do that <laughs> stock though. I know. Yeah, I hear the turbo spoon. Right? not like crazy but I hear the whistle yeah you hear a whistling in there it's choked up a little bit oh yeah I'm a, yeah this is like this is 500 horsepower this ain't no 300 no, this five, is 500 five, five, five what 535 535 girls you hear it you heard it that's damn the, that's to the that's to the rear wheels Damn! Uh, six, on, boy, 625 on the torque. 625 torque. Jesus Christ. Whew. This thing is so crazy. German sport. I'm gonna let it uh, idle for a little bit. Here, click, 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 click. Yeah, I'm girl. Just on my way back. The super is pretty freaking sick, to be honest. I didn't. I mean, 500 horsepower, sure, it's 500 horsepower, and so is 600 torque. But the car really puts it down really well. It's just crazy to know the car is completely stock besides the tune and fuel, no bolt-ons and. You know that's the output it's really hard to put some another car to compare next to it again it puts the power down so well the car's incredible definitely changed my perspective about supras in general completely hell even the z4 because the z4 m40 uh comes with that same exact engine and it's pretty much built on the same exact chassis damn i don't know it's a dope ass car i will say that and props to chris for uh giving us a chance to go on a ride in the car thanks so much for checking out the video today guys x-gen Check it out. Peace.